2,500 Mazda Toyota employees had a hand in making these SUVs you see right behind me. And they say they were over the moon when they got that approval from Mayor Battle. Now, not only did I get an up close and personal look at these SUVs, I also got a chance to speak with a woman who was the first female on this assembly line. Now, the Mazda Toyota team takes pride in having such a diverse team and told me they took employees in from all across the country. They trained them here in Madison and Limestone counties, but also overseas in Japan as well. Now, one special person got hired during the month of March, which is a very special time where women in manufacturing are honored. Now, even though Kenyatta Graham is one of thousands who had a hand in this, she said it's been an honor to help lead this initiative of getting the first SUV rolled off the lot. When I came online, my manager, he said, so I want you up here. You're going to be the first woman up here. He gave me a speech about, you know, this is a big thing, especially with the month that it is. And everybody made sure they were like, hey, I want you to be better than me. And so it doesn't matter that I am a woman. They're like, I want you to shine more than I do. And so that's just how it is with all of my team members. We all support each other. Graham told me it was surreal to see the SUV get the approval it needed and says they have so much more in store. Now, Graham told me right now they are looking to fill about 1700 spots here at Mazda Toyota, and she says to go ahead and take a chance on yourself if you're interested because she actually didn't even know how to change the oil in her own car before she started here. But now she's happy she got to got the chance to make an exclusive vehicle coming only out of North Alabama. Reporting live in Limestone County, Alexis Scott with 31 News.